and Nivedita from class 8. Hello, I am Devan from class 7. Hello, I am Badra from class 8. We are all from Chinmaya Vidyalaya Trishur, Kerala. Today we are going to present a road crossing assistant and demonstrate the prototype by using Arduino. The motivation for the project is the zebra crossing in front of our school where the incoming vehicles are not clearly visible as there is a curve in the road. Unfortunately, in India, the rule that vehicles must stop at the zebra crossing is always violated. So, we propose to implement a road crossing assistant where estimated time that a vehicle takes to reach the zebra crossing is calculated and displayed to the pedestrian. This can be implemented by using sensors. We have done a prototype by using Arduino. We are using an ultrasonic sensor connected to an Arduino board and displaying data on a laptop. We have kept a toy truck approximately 100 centimeters away from the sensor. You can also see part of the code here which is uploaded to the Arduino. A teeny weeny truck driven by yours truly is now being sensed. The code calculates the estimated time that the toy trucks takes to reach the crossing point which is 50 centimeters after the sensor. Here are some key aspects of our code. And here we have done some analysis. Now that we have demonstrated the basic concept of estimating time taken by moving object to reach a point, we can use this to implement a customized solution on the road. In the case of a curved road, the sensor will have to be placed at a height above the road and the calculations will accordingly change based on the angle as well as the distance from sensor to the pedestrian. With some fine tuning of this idea, the cases of multiple lanes and multiple vehicles can be addressed. Indeed, better sensors will be needed. This idea can be extended to a curved railway track also where many accidents happen, or even for vehicles crossing an intersection. In the case of a straight or road or rail, even a handheld device which has both the sensor and the display can be made. Who knows, in a few years, this may be a feature in our smartphones. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed and learned just like we did. Bye-bye.